Hello again, everybody. Sci-Fi Guy 86 here with another Redstone showcase for you. Uh, last week I showed you my single triple piston extender, and today I have added to it to make it a uh, portcullis. So now I'm going to show you how to do this. Well, I'm not going to show you how to do it, but I'm going to show it how how it works. Raises up, drops down. Takes a little long to drop down on that last tick, but it's okay. This doesn't push back up at least, like in that one. That one pushes back up a block. This one doesn't. Has a slightly different design. And the above ground contraption is actually pretty easily encased in a small area here. Um, whereas the underground contraption is very large. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you what all this over here looks like. As you can see, it's pretty much the same thing, just stacked. I had to change some things, like over there, I didn't have a repeater on this spot. But because there's several of them lined up, you have to have repeaters in order to feed into the pistons. Same thing over here for the torches. So I just changed a couple of those spots. I think that spot was another one of them, um, or no. Up there has it. Never mind. So it was it was just that spot. But yeah, so I changed those two spots and it, it changed the timing slightly, so I had to change the timing slightly and this right here is the extent uh extended time delay for the top. And you can extend that as much as you want, but I'll probably add a tutorial for this video at some point. I'm guessing Oh, what is this? Something extra for no reason. <laughs> I had a T flip flop connected to this at one point just because I was testing it like it was with that one, and then I removed the T flip flop because my portcullis system doesn't usually have a T flip flop. It's a self closing system, so it's all based on timing. <coughs> <coughs> so it actually works better with this system than a T flip flop does. So T flip flop, I have to send in that extra pulse. If you remember, that extra pulse right there had to be sent after it closed, m causing it to be closed, open one block go back to closed, and then drop back down all the way. So this one, as you saw several times, I'm going to go and press it again, because it's awesome. Pushes up all three, and then drops down two, waits a second, drops down the third one. And then the top will close after a few seconds. Enough of time for you to get in. And as you can see, the top is much less complex than the bottom, but that's because on the top, we're not concerned with retracting these pistons. They're all regular pistons. We're not concerned with retracting them because these pistons down here, when they extend with the sand, will push the whole system up, resetting these pistons. So that it is ready to shoot fire again. So the complicated part of a triple extension uh, piston portcullis is this whole bottom thing. Because you have to send one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different pulses at different times to different spots on the three pistons down there. It's pretty ridiculous. Anyway, that is just about that, guys. As I said with the triple piston extender on the single extender with the base entrance there, this portcullis will also receive a tutorial video upload once I receive 25 likes, either on this video or a com combined 25 likes between this video and the last video, or a hundred uh, subscri subscribers to my channel. And right now, I think we're at 37 subscribers, so we're doing pretty good. This is awesome. I'm definitely liking liking the people watching my videos. But I want I want to make more awesome videos for you guys, and I want to make these tutorials. But because they're so big and complex, I want to make sure that there's enough people that want to see them before I make them. So, make sure you get more t subscribing to the channel, make sure you like the, the video if you like if you like this idea and you want to see a tutorial, make sure you like this video as well as the most as well as you watch this video and like that one. And I'll take the combined views between that and once it adds to 25 likes, I will put a tutorial for this whole system. And pretty much, once I do a tutorial for it, it'll be, I'll start this tutorial, which will build that system, showing you how to build that. And then I will continue to build the portcullis. So it'll just be a portcullis tutorial. But once once I reach 25 likes, 
or 100 subscribers. I'll put up the tutorial for it. So yeah, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.